Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy Jamo. We're on a calm, collective vibe today. I just want to show you guys this new gaming arena spot called New Meta, all the way up in Angel Islington. Now, before I go any further, let me give a big shout out to the guys at New Meta for putting me on and bringing me in. Now, for the drivers out there, I don't know for parking before 7:30, but after 7:30, you can literally park your thing outside, fam minimal walking and you know say us gamers don't like the exercise thing now you walk inside and immediately you're slapped up with the rgb neon lights everywhere cuz oh my days you got the whole thing looking like some kind of fun fair bro you know like that anyway boom you walk inside now on the right hand side you got a hella big refrigerator with bare different beverages and beers and thing in there hella juice and that and on the left hand side you got a kind of chill area where you can watch esports twitch streams and all of that on one big ass tv now onto the gaming area you've got i don't even know 10 15 20 rtx 3060 enabled gaming desktops with 1080p 144 hertz monitors to play whatever game you want to whenever you want to each desktop comes with a razor keyboard a razor mouse and of course a razor gaming headset for your online smack talking Opposite that, obviously, we've got the reception area and we've got two little console gaming sections with bean bags for your PlayStation and Xbox game players. Now, in the corner, fam, we've got the all new game streaming booth, cuz. Now, this thing is set up with an RTX 3080 thing, you understand? It's a big boy thing. You've got a Hyper X microphone in there, Elgato Face cal obviously and literally everything you'll need to get your game stream looking peng currently in this part of the video you can see that it's got a single screen setup but they're saying they're trying to get in the same screen so that they can have the dual screen setup thing you understand it all right moving upstairs now we've got even more gaming desktops cuz i think they got rtx 3060 ti's in these ones now i don't know if there's 15 20 35 I don't know how many are upstairs, but there's bare fam. They've even got some kind of closed off rooms with gaming desktops in there. So if you want a little private session or you're having a little team esports thing, you can go in there, talk tactics and be away from the rest of the world kind of thing. You understand? I can't lie, the way they got the thing set up, it's looking professional. Now the way the thing works is that you pay per hour your playing kind of thing in it. So let's say for example, one hour is four pounds or two hours is eight pounds, three hours is 12 pound you understand and you can control all of that from the computer once you've logged on um logging in itself is simple literally you can log in via your google login um i think they've got facebook there as well as an option now once you've logged in you've got options to play some of the free to play games that they've already downloaded so obviously all the bait things are downloaded like fortnite um pubg call of duty Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know the name of Bear of the free to play games, but you know all of the bait ones, yeah? All them ones there? They're on there, fam. Apex, is that one? I'm sure that's one. Anyway, they're all on there, ready to play, and you can either sign in with your own account or you can use some of the temporary accounts that New Meta will give you. Now, what's also sick is that if you're not an esports warrior yet, if you're a humble guy like me and you simply want to raise your own cult in Cult of the Lamb, you can log into your Steam account safely on either of these computers and play all the games you have already purchased on your Steam account fam you get it so i'm not gonna lie i kicked it back put the recording on and i was playing 2-2 call of the lamb you don't know it was a vibe man got hungry and deep this to order food from the place you can do that all from the desktop you just out tab out into the main home screen go into the little food menu choose what you want and add it to the cart and you can pay via a qr code that you scan on your phone and it sets you to a paying page once your payment has gone through there's literally a little tannoy ding to say that your order has been accepted from so imagine you're balling out yeah you order a little lucasade bing your order has been accepted order two two katsu curry bing 
your order has been accepted. Order our next thing, another one, thank you. You know, like that, so yeah, no, that, that's kind of sick. I like the way they've done that still. Now, if that doesn't work, obviously you can take your card or your cash to the main reception place and order the, the non-techie way, but that's just not cool, bro. It's just not cool, don't do that. And apart from that, the vibes are generally chilled, fam. They're generally fine. Um, Only issues for me is one, there's only one streaming setup there. Now, all the computers have a gaming headset with a microphone, but not all of the computers have a web camera. Now, you can bring your own webcam, I'm told, and put to the computer and use that so you can stream technically from any webcam, but I think you have to ask the staff there first. Secondly, I love the Razer equipment, but the keyboard itself is not mechanical. It's a membrane thing and it feels bare squishy. <laughs> so if you're used to mechanical keyboards, you're gonna notice that straight away. Thirdly, and kind of weirdly, I didn't see much bins inside the place, which means when you get your food, you kind of have it on the desk where you're playing games, which is nice and cool, because that's what I do at home. But I hope they can maintain the cleanliness of the area, because some people are clapped. And I can imagine some people spilling their food or their crisps on the keyboard and the mice, and then the next person has to go on. And yeah, I'm just hoping they keep it clean kind of thing, you understand? Apart from that though, I can't wait to go back. I'm gonna go check it out, I'm gonna bring the gang. I'm gonna have a little Fortnite session maybe, little Rogue Company session. I'm gonna keep it moving.